Mm, limiting beliefs. Subconscious beliefs impede progress. Okay. Check in, solve, shadow work, re rewire with subliminals. All right. So somebody could have some subconscious beliefs. I just saw one, two, three on the camera. Somebody could have some subconscious beliefs that are like blocking progress like within your personal life or within this twin flame journey. Um, there's a need possibly for shadow work. Let's see. Tell me about this limiting beliefs. Somebody's way of thinking and the way that they feel about themselves is the reason why something is not um, progressing or moving forward. So we have Flamingo. Somebody really needs to come to terms with their emotions. Mastering your energy, vibration, enjoying friends. So you guys can be just, you know, what's this limiting beliefs though? All right, that's too many. Yeah, I just, what did I just see though? Past programming? Okay. Volcano. Ooh. You know what's about to happen here? Spurred into action. Progress versus dormancy. I feel like somebody, ha first of all, someone, ha someone has some limiting beliefs about themselves and about like their potential. And I just saw two, three, four on the camera too. Something is progressing. Something is moving forward or moving in the right direction. I We saw one, two, three. Now we see two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Someone's like way that they were raised or some type of past programming has been a blockage and someone's in this, like this past programming or the, or these false stories or false beliefs are, it's like, because of what someone like, for example, just say that you guys grew up with, um, a parent that was unsupportive and that was emotionally, mentally, you know, abusive, physically, whatever. If someone told you that you couldn't achieve certain things or that you would have never amount to something or that you weren't capable of doing something and just say that these this stems from your childhood, this could be people that were close to your family, your friends, whatever. That has been carried into your adulthood or carried into whoever this your twin is, it's been carried into their adulthood and they've needed to rewire this, rewire their brain and their ways of thinking and maybe you have as well. but it's like, I also feel like somebody has been like suppressing their emotions, but it's like, it can't happen. It's like, they can't be suppressed any longer. Somebody had a reading like this. I think it was Sag. I believe Sag had a reading like this. It's like everything that somebody has been suppressing or trying to avoid doing because of limiting beliefs and past programming is getting to that point where they're about to erupt or explode like they can't hold back any or they can't avoid something any longer it's like someone's about to finally take some type of action after like a period of stagnancy hmm someone is realizing that they create their reality if somebody wants their life to look a certain way they're going to have to take action to make it look that way things aren't just going to like fall into their lap but they may have not felt like they were they were worthy of what they desired or they weren't capable of manifesting the life that they desired. So they didn't take any action because they were already um, projecting negativity and failure into their future when it that wasn't the truth. Someone is now realizing that they are capable of something that they thought that they weren't. And they didn't think that they were capable of this because of past programming and limiting beliefs. I hope that that makes sense. So what does this mean for the twins, my collective? What does this mean for you guys? Wow, it's manifested. So something that you guys thought you, would, you could never manifest. New desired reality is already present in your life. Vibrational alignment. Astrology gives edge. Wow. So something that you guys were trying to manifest for a long time wasn't manifesting because you guys didn't really believe that you were worthy of it or you didn't feel like you were capable of it or you just thought it was something that could never happen for you. But you guys could maybe be breaking out of 
the, the some type of negative way of thinking or limiting way of thinking and it's manifesting what you desire what you truly desired and what you thought you could never have or this is what's about to manifest for you i feel like you guys maybe were being a little bit maybe pessimistic at some point and um there's also this energy that says gratuity increases attraction so being grateful for what I've, everything that you already have been blessed with and finding the joy in the present not thinking about what you don't have but thinking about all of the amazing things that you already have is actually manifesting more to be grateful for all right yeah we have living pur purposefully live life by intention following bliss passion and action divinely guided light cure and heart walking by faith so you guys may not know you guys maybe didn't know like what the future held you guys could have maybe taken some leap of faith or you guys just started really like taking action towards your passions um the things that light you up um pursuing what made you happy like listening to the divine guidance within you um you really didn't know what that was going to lead to or this is what spirit is guiding you to do and it may be scary you may not know what that's leading to you don't know what the future holds but it's like spirit says walk by faith yeah loving all of you yeah and releasing attachment and this could be challenging love and accept your darkness for greatest self-love deeply healing world mirrors us be free of expectations feel great about letting go longing gives vibe yeah longing gives vibe of not having so there was something that you really wanted you were focusing on something that you didn't have spirit said you had to shift your perspective you had to focus on all the amazing things that you did have in your life and release your attachment to those things that you couldn't control the things that you couldn't force into your life um and that's like really and it was probably very difficult this was yeah it says a test before leveling up that was your lesson that was your lesson so that you could progress to the next level of your life or the le next level of ascension was you finally getting out of that lack energy not focusing on what you don't have but focusing on all the things you know amazing things that you already have in your life and releasing your attachment to the things that you can't control the things that you can't force to change or force into your life that was the lesson and i feel like you guys have finally maybe mastered that or you're about to and it's like once you do that something that you really wanted is manifesting for you that was the key to manifesting what you needed to yeah feeling capable of overcoming adversity it was like maybe there was something that you just felt like was so difficult you couldn't live without that person you couldn't go on it was just too hurt it was too painful it was too difficult but it says now you're maybe getting in this energy where you're like i can't overcome this i can't be okay without that person i can't be without whatever that is in my life i'm realizing i know that i cannot control that i cannot change that um so i need to focus my things on the things that are within my control um so you're releasing your expectations you may not know what the future holds in regards to that person which in this case this is a twin flame reading so there was a need for you guys to release your twin flame because you couldn't control them all right like you had to let them go and do that out of self-love there was a, re a need to release this person out of self-love and like i keep hearing like you, you you can't change this person maybe you guys are really trying to change them or hoping that maybe by loving them if you just loved them enough if you just gave enough to them they would change and they would see your worth and they would get in alignment with you they would get on the same page as you but it doesn't work like that this person would have had to make the decision themselves to get in alignment with you and get on the same page as you um you guys had to get out of that mindset that um you didn't deserve better than this you didn't deserve better than somebody that was not getting in alignment with you that was low vibrational and you were in a higher vibration this person that um was refusing to change and had some very outdated and limiting beliefs and negative beliefs and they were were, were i just saw 10 10 on the camera they were wanting to believe their own delusions and false stories um they could have maybe grew up in a very toxic environment and they're not wanting to to break out of that toxic way of thinking or the way that they were raised okay and you can't you couldn't force them to change so I feel like you guys were really expecting a lot from this person or you were expecting like a certain outcome with them. And I feel like there was a need for you to kind of just release those expectations and just give it to the divine and just know that, um, like I said, all you can do is focus, control yourself, um, you know, enjoy the present, you know, enjoy all the blessings in your life currently. And then just, you know, have faith that the divine is bringing you better or that, um, yeah, that there's something much better, whether it's with this person or in another situation is coming forward to you. But, you know, I feel like if it's and, you know, if this is your twin, 
there was also a need for them to also possibly learn a similar lesson. 1111 on the camera. Yes. I feel like this person maybe even took you for granted. What does this mean for this person? Wow. Look at this, guys. Incoming. You're about to hear from this person. News, message, game changer, surprise invitation, insights, gift, making connections. Wow. Wow. And then we have enjoy the journey. You and this person can maybe be traveling together. It says the fun is getting there. Acknowledge your progress. Didn't I say things are progressing? You guys have made a lot of progress. A lot of growth has happened within you. Even if you don't see it, you have travel, mental vacation, be spontaneous. Yeah. The closed lock universe does for you, not to you all in their head closed off. Yeah. Heal. This person was very closed off and they needed to heal. They were, they, they have a hard time trusting anything. They let fear control their life. Why do I keep seeing all these number synchronicities? 12, 12. All right. Um, stay this person was staying in a situation for the wrong reasons because maybe that's all that they knew. That's what they were used to. That's what they were comfortable in. All right. But it wasn't the best. It wasn't. They could do a lot better for themselves than that. But there was a need for this person to kind of like go through like a dark night of the soul. A lot of their fears and worries were all in their head. They had nothing to do with you. Okay. But there was a need for them to kind of like introspect and like retreat, focus on themselves. I feel like this person maybe went through some, something that they like, maybe they were like, they were angry. Like they were like, why did, why does this happen to me? Why am I, why is my life, why is this happening? Like they didn't see like, well, why is this happening? Well, like they, they felt like things were being, do, how do I say that? They didn't, they were just like, why, you know, my life is just so shitty. Like, I don't see why my, why did I get cursed with this life? And, but the, the universe was actually doing this for them, for them to grow and heal and evolve. But I don't think that they saw it that way. All right. Yeah. Uniting your feminine, creative and masculine intuition, awakened, awakening self or female. Somebody, this person maybe need to get more in tune with their, didn't I just say this person went through something? Crisis. Mm. So the divine maybe brought in some type of like tower moment for this person um, so that they could awaken. They needed to get more in tune with their feminine, their, their emotions, their feelings. Yeah, this heart chakra opening, awakening. They needed to have more balance. They needed to get more in tune with their intuition. But we have, yeah, so that they could restructure their life, restructuring life, blessing within clearing space bring solutions, see deepest needs and emotions. Yeah, exactly. And this is leading. I just said this person just went through a dark night of the soul. But it says dreams come true, dreams manifesting now. Yeah, positive shift, change, move. Mm -hmm. And then we have darkest before dawn. Mm -hmm. Breakdown before breakthrough, major shift is in progress. Yeah, dissolving barriers, ascending. And this is happening for this person. Yeah. It's like something is still manifesting between you and this person, but it's not like how you envisioned it to go between the two of them. It's not probably like how you you would ideally have liked it to um, go or manifest, but it's still going to manifest. And it had to happen this way because it probably wouldn't have manifest if it didn't have manifested if it didn't happen this way. We have trust, allow versus cling and control. Yep. That's what I was saying. It's because you guys are releasing control. The tower moment could have been you guys letting this person go. Because I see that that's what, what's causing. That was like the solution to some type of blessing in this situation. You guys were trying to cling and control the, at this person as cling to them and control this person at some point. But now you guys like let go. And you trust and just allow this person to do what they wanted to do. Focus on yourself. Release the attachment. Release the expectations. And that's changing everything. And it's forcing this person. I feel like you guys are also taking responsibility for your part. Like, you know, you're like taking responsibility for yourself. Like, this person maybe puts you through hell and back, right? But did you let this person put you through hell and back to some degree? Like, did you allow them? Did you not, you know, 
act in your best interest when it came to this person sometimes? Did you not love yourself as much as you should have? Did you tolerate some things that you shouldn't have? Did you not have your boundaries in place? Did you let this person overstep your boundaries? Um, it was that type of thing. So that's what I'm saying. Like by you pulling back your energy or you kind of like letting go, you did that for your own well-being. And even if this person didn't understand at the time why you had to do that, why you couldn't self-sacrifice anymore, they will. And it's also forcing this person to have to take the initiative. Since you're pulling back, you're like kind of stepping more into your feminine energy. Um, that's what this is saying. Yeah. Yeah, you're st probably stepping more into your feminine energy here. And like letting this person, you know, they're going to, it's forcing them to have to come towards you and own up to their part and how they sabotage this or why this didn't work. Um, come towards you and, you know, apologize to you, ask for forgiveness. Um, they make them come in and um, fix the situation, right? Because you're no longer, um, you kind of taken a step back. Okay. Mm hmm. It's like you're kind of taking a step back and you're giving this person room to come in and do what they're what they should do what they should do in this situation if they want you and they want union but that's definitely what's triggering this to happen now is that you guys have taken a step back okay Mm, yeah. Mm. What? See, okay. So you were dealing with somebody that didn't feel like they wanted a relationship at the time. They weren't ready to like be in like a full time, full blown relationship. Like they wanted to have like romance and a relationship with you when they wanted to on the, at their convenience. They weren't ready to have it all the time. For some of you, they didn't, they wanted to keep their options open. They didn't want to settle down with just one person they weren't ready or they didn't think they were ready they weren't ready to fall in love and have room like they yeah they're not really comfortable with romantic feelings feeling loving feelings they felt and also they felt like things became very toxic between the two of you i think that they kind of just wanted you to just like sit back and allow whatever you know what i mean i think that they just wanted you to kind of just be like more relaxed and be okay with that type of relationship dynamic, be okay with whatever they, you know, exactly what I was saying. Like they wanted you to kind of just go along with whatever they wanted things their way. That's all I can say. And they wanted you to just be okay with it. Or maybe this is even your energy. This could be your energy saying that, you you didn't like how toxic your connection was with this person. You didn't want to have to. You didn't want the, your relationship to have to be a, a a battlefield. Like you wanted something very like help. You wanted a healthy relationship, something blissful. You wanted something like simple and without arguing. You know, you, every now and then you're gonna have a, a fight or whatever. But you know, if it's all the damn time, like yeah, it's exhausting. You guys have maybe even lost respect for this person to some degree. This person feels like maybe you've met somebody new. They feel like you don't give them the attention like you used to. And it's because you guys have maybe lost respect for them to some degree. You're sick of the, you're not feeding into the toxicity. You feel like every time you speak to this person or you deal with them, it's toxic or it turns into drama or a fight or an argument. So... I definitely feel like you guys have distanced yourself from this person. They feel like you don't give them as much attention as you used to. I feel like I don't have your full attention. I feel like something or someone else has stolen your heart and I am but a ghost in your life. Now I feel forgotten. 
I need the truth, even if it hurts to hear it. Sometimes I don't listen, but I need to hear what you have to say. So I feel like this person is going to come back and communicate to you and see if you still love them or you're still interested. They're going to try to come in um, and see if there's still a connection there between the two of you because they feel like you've become so distant. They're not sure anymore. Um, but this is definitely somebody that didn't want a relationship or wanted to keep their options open. They were trying to like keep you in a certain place. They wanted to deal with you when they wanted to. But now we have says, I want to have it all. I want to have a big family with you and celebrate our love with our all of our family and friends together who are very important to me. I see an amazing future with you. And so I can't just let you go. I know things aren't the same anymore between us, but I don't want to give you up. I don't want you to give up on me either. I have been unfair to you and have lied to you about my readiness to be with you. I owe you an apology. Yep. So this person's coming in to try to make amends, definitely. They feel like they owe you an apology. I don't, how are they getting to this point where they want to have a family with you and stuff now? Like, they didn't want commitment. See? Yeah. They may feel like they have a lot of, a lot of other responsibilities and obligations right now. They have a lot going on in their life. Like, I told you, they're possibly going through a crisis. Um, and they know that they have neglected you. It's almost like you're kind of like stepping back and like embodying the same energy that they, or maybe even worse, but like you're, you're kind of, they know that they neglected you and now they got, they feel neglected by you. So it's like almost like maybe it's even part of their karma. Like they get to feel how they made you feel. I feel tired and worn out. I need more support and release from all my worries. I have too much on my shoulders. That's why they didn't want to get too close to you. Yeah, they were also worried about what people would say for whatever reason. This person has a hard time about like they like they want you to be considerate of their feelings and emotions, but they walk on people's feelings and emotions all the time. And that's something that they need to work on. Yeah, I, I feel like this person like also comes towards you when they got shit going on in their life because you may have like a very healing energy to them. You feel like home to them, very comforting. And I definitely see that this person is going through something and they feel like when they start talking to you or when you're in their life, things go a lot better for them. It says you always have a way of making everything better. I know I can rely on you. It brings me great joy and comfort that you are there for me no matter what. You are a blessing in my life. And I haven't told you that enough. I want you to know what's in my heart. Yeah, I feel like this person, maybe they're realizing that now that your their life was a lot better. I feel like this person's life went to shit after you pulled back your energy. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this person's life went to shit and now they're realizing this is part of their karma, that they should have been a lot more grateful for you than they were. They didn't see how positive an, of an impact that you had on their life until you weren't there anymore, until you pull back your energy or that's what's going to have to happen. It's going to make them a lot more grateful for you. Um, but they were never going to see this if you kept trying to control and cling to them. OK, so that, yeah, because they were. I don't know, y'all. Let's see what's on the back of the deck. I'm going to move into another deck. There are so many people relying on me. Yeah, I don't know if I can be reliable for you too. There is only so much of me to go around. I feel like you need me more than I need more than I can give you. It doesn't mean I don't feel the connection. I just can't pour from an empty cup. Yeah, I haven't forgotten about you, but I'm not ready to talk about the past. Yeah, they've been like trying to avoid you. Like if, if you've pulled back your energy and there has been quite some time, like since you spoke to this person, it's because they didn't want to have to come in and put their pride to the side and come in and be the one to fix things and extend the olive branch. They didn't want to have to talk about the things they were trying to avoid and suppress. Um, but it's getting to that point where they can't do it anymore. Like I said earlier, it's like they see you everywhere. It's like almost like divine pressure. They feel like they see you everywhere and they, they can't stop thinking about you, that you're in their dreams, like you're everywhere. But they've just felt like they needed more time. Yeah. It's like this person wishes that they could have you in their life any way that they want to, even if it was like friends or a situationship or whatever. But like, I feel like that's something that you're no longer settling for. Yeah, because they, they wish things could be different. They wish that they could go back and do things differently. Hmm. I have a sage in Palo Santo um, candle burning right now. I haven't burned a candle on my channel in quite some time. I don't know if for those of you have that have watched my channel for quite some time, you know that I used to always have candles and I used to have a whole setup here, but I don't know. haven't done that. I, I moved and I just haven't set it up again like that. I just saw the true love card. So yeah. Yeah. True love again. I just saw it. 
It's, well, this card really wants to come out, so we're going to just take it out. <laughs> Let's just take it out. Experiencing wholeness, unconditional love, long-lasting bond. Wow, but we have poker face. Somebody's not showing this. So you guys are both kind of not revealing this to one another right now where they aren't or you aren't, okay? Two-faced, lack of expression, hiding true feelings. You have abundance, okay? And we have not budging. Mm -hmm. Gypsy on the back of the deck. Mm -mm. Why is abundance here? Options and what? Secrets. What's this have to do with? Okay, what's this have to do with this person? Broken promises. Hmm. What does that do with abundance, though? Feel like they feel like they're out of racing against time. They know they broke your trust. But what does that have to do with money? Maybe they, um. What does this have to do with them, though? What does this have to do with this person? It's breaking point. Yeah, they're at their breaking point. No, what? Boundaries. Okay, what's home? What about home? Opposites. I don't know, guys. It's almost like you guys are doing very well without this person. And they feel like they're running out of time to come towards you. They know that, that you don't trust them anymore. That you see them as toxic. You've completely stopped talking to them. You've put boundaries in place. You're no longer allowing certain things anymore. Yeah, you're standing your ground. Or it's like you guys are both like kind of like being stubborn, but this person's being stubborn for the wrong reasons. You're being, you're not even being stubborn. You're just staying firm in your boundaries. You're standing your ground. What does not budging mean for this person though? What is this budging not? Well, I can't talk. What is not, but yeah, they are still stuck in the past. They're still not wanting to open their heart. I feel like they've been wearing this facade, too. So what are they going to do? Yeah, didn't I say they don't want to open their heart still? They're fighting this tooth and nail, y'all. They're maybe even learning lessons in a third-party situation or something. Or something. What about third-party? They're in some type of... If they had a third-party situation, that's no longer a thing. That's breaking down. I don't know. We're going to see here. I'm going to get the tarot. This person couldn't see. Yeah. It's like there is true love between you and this person, but this person's ego, their pride, they're just not, you guys aren't having been in alignment with one another. They're not on the same vibration. They're not on the same level as you. Why is that? Because this person is immature. They have a lot of growing to do. They don't, they're lazy. They don't make good choices for themselves. They procrastinate. They wait till the very last minute to take action or do anything. Um, yeah, they're, they're just un, an underachiever, and you guys can be very hard workers, you know, and the two don't mix. Her poker face. All right, this is too many cards. What about poker face? Freedom, new awareness, uh-oh. Surrender, liberation, escape, facing fears. What's that mean for this person? They're about to open up. Yeah, why are they doing this now, though? Why are they doing this now? It could be in a means to try to control. Why are they doing this now? King of Swords. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, manip ooh, I don't like this, guys. What is this? Now, here we go. The Aries energy with the Magician in reverse. And we have, I feel like this person is tired of Something that they thought was going to happen isn't happening. Their plans are falling apart. They're going through a crisis. They've been avoiding taking some type of risk. I feel like, like I said, I feel like they wanted you to come in and take the initiative, extend the olive branch, 
be the one to apologize or make things right. Maybe that's because what you that's what you've always done. I don't feel like you're doing that this time. Um, and it's real. And it's like this person is realizing that they were in this illusion, thinking that you were going to come towards them. I feel like what was this illusion, or what were they not seeing clearly? Wow, guys, they didn't think. You know what was the illusion? This person thought that they could make you jealous or that uh, this is going to suck, guys, but they kind of didn't think you loved yourself as much as you do now. Maybe you did at some point, right? I feel like this person also, they had a, a like a false perception of you or something. I feel like this person didn't trust you. They thought felt like they couldn't trust you. And then they also kind of thought that you had low self-worth and that they had some type of power or control over you. Um yeah, that you would, yeah, that you would get angry, like something that they were doing was going to make you angry or jealous. But I feel like this person felt you were very emotionally unstable too. Like maybe this is how you were in the past with them, but I feel like they're starting to get impatient. They're growing impatient and things are not happening at the timeline that they like. It's been like maybe too long and they feel they've been waiting. Whatever they plan to happen to, so that they didn't have to take get out of their comfort zone or take any risks it's not happening so they're about to come in with some type of communication in regards to trying to heal this connection and wanting your forgiveness wanting to see the sun though with the queen of, yeah the leo energy with the king of pentacles in reverse i still don't feel like this person has their shit together guys i feel like this person does you're going to realize that this person is a lot more possessive over you than you thought um, and I feel like this person still is going through some type of financial issues. See, why do we have abundance here? The star. Yeah, you guys are getting some type of like wish fulfillment in regards to financial blessings or um, financial independence. Um, some type of like you guys are just like healing and. Some of you guys are like in the public eye or getting some type of fame or recognition or attention social media attention. I don't know. That could be for some of you, but things are just going really well for you. Yeah. You're reaching some type of goal here, guys. That's when somebody's going to try to come back. There's going to be some type of goal that you reach. And then that's when this person's going to come back and they're going to want to come into, Oh guys, I don't like this person's energy. I don't, well, I don't want to necessarily say that this person is trying to come towards you to see. Yeah. Cause we have the ace of cups in reverse. They're going to want to reconcile, but just know that this person's still going to be very stoic and they're still going to be pretty cold and wanting to suppress their emotions. They're still, but it's getting to that point where they're not going to be able to do that any longer. Because I feel like you're no longer settling for that, but just know there's some type of goal that you guys are about to reach. And that's when this person's going to come back. I swear somebody else had a reading like this over the past couple of weeks too. And they're going through some type of financial issues. And I really hope that this person isn't coming towards you. What I think is like, I don't know if they're necessarily coming towards you to use you like they want money from you. But like I said earlier, this person knows that when you guys um, were together, things went a lot better for them. Things were improving in their life. Like they feel like you like are, your energy is really has a positive impact on this person. And they're going to see you flourishing and having your wish fulfillment and things going great for you. And they're going to be in the shithole, right? And um, I feel like that's when they're going to want to try to come back. I feel like it's good. This person is going to start realizing like, well, my life is shitty and the collective's life is amazing. Like I feel like that's also making them feel like they're the problem or that they were the problem. I mean, I feel like you guys both had your issues in this connection, but they were, you know, predominantly the problem, to be honest here, based off what I can see here. Or you can flip the rolls. All right, so we have not budging. Yeah, the moon. Yeah, what does this mean for this person? The hermit, what's this mean for the collective? Judgment. Yeah, you're looking at things differently. You've had some type of wake-up call. Yeah. It's like you guys have just like had a wake-up call. Something like woke you guys up and it made you guys just release. You gained some type of new perspective and you started releasing this person and now you have like the success coming in. Now for this person, we have, so we have Scorpio energy, Pisces, Virgo, 
Heavy Pisces. What about the Hermit for this person? The Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. They're watching you. They're watching you get this, whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, this abundance. They're watching you get this. I'm telling you. And it's making them, re what does this mean for the Hermit, for them? Death in reverse. It's making them realize, what about the death in reverse, Scorpio energy, the ace of cups in reverse. They're still being resistant to change, guys. I don't know what the hell's wrong with this person. <laughs> Is anything going to, no, they're still not making any progress. They're watching you get, they feel this connection to you, but they're just still not budging. This is frustrating. I'm frustrated for y'all. I literally see this person not speaking. They're spending a lot of time alone. They are doing a lot of thinking and introspecting. They're literally watching you reach this goal, whatever this is, this abundance. They're watching it. They see it, but they're still being resistant to, resistant to change. Hmm. All right, y'all. So I'm going to.